Unit 14, trying to arrange the meeting. Hello? Hello, Mr. Brown. Thomas Jones of Floyd's Bank is holding for you on line three. Thank you, Anna. <clears throat> Hello, James Brown speaking. Hello, Mr. Brown. This is Thomas Jones calling from Floyd's Bank. How are you today? Well, hello, Mr. Jones. How nice of you to call. Have you managed to arrange a meeting with uh, Mr. Smith for us yet? Not yet. Making a meeting with Mr. Smith is easier said than done. Perhaps you'd find it more convenient to speak with me. Really? Hmm. You do know that we were really hoping to get in to see him before the end of the fiscal year. Yes, well, as you know, Mr. Smith is a very busy man. We are all very busy, running our own business, as you know. So both Mr. Stewart and myself really hope that you will find a way to fit us in to Mr. Smith's very busy schedule. I fully understand how you feel, but I hope that you'd be as comfortable talking to me as you would with Mr. Smith if you cannot see him. As I'm sure you are aware, Impressive Printing have been very good customers of your bank over the years. And as you know, we always strive to take care of our very best customers. Consequently, sometimes we would expect to be treated as loyal customers should be. Do you know Impressive Printing has done more than seven million dollars of business this year alone? You know, it'd be a real shame to have to take our business elsewhere. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Jones? Okay, I will liaise with Mr. Smith's secretary later this afternoon, and we'll see what we can come up with for you. You do that, Mr. Jones. It was so nice talking to you, and I expect to be hearing from you very soon. Good day, Mr. Brown. Have you managed to arrange a meeting with uh, Mr. Smith for us yet? Not yet. Making a meeting with Mr. Smith is easier said than done. Perhaps you'd find it more convenient to speak with me. You do know that we were really hoping to get in to see him before the end of the fiscal year. Yes, well, as you know, Mr. Smith is a very busy man. You know, it'd be a real shame to have to take our business elsewhere. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Jones? It was so nice talking to you, and I expect to be hearing from you very soon. Unit 15. How was the phone call? Come in. Did you speak to Mr. Jones yet? Yeah, just got off the phone with him about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Don't tell me. He was difficult, wasn't he? Well, let's just say that I made myself perfectly clear to him on this matter. Did he get your point? We'll see. He's going to call again. What if he remains unable to help us? Oh, he's able to help us. The question is, does he want to help us? We can't really afford to waste too much time with him. 
What about the other banks? What have you found out about them? Well, Barclay and TSB know us by reputation. And they're both interested. Good. That's good. They both said that we could make an appointment with them whenever it's convenient for us. Great. Well, I like that. And what have you found out about the foreign banks? Thanks. Well, I found this one bank called China Global. Ooh. They have offices in the United States, and they have programs to assist in the setup of new businesses. Really? That sounds promising. Have you scheduled an appointment with them? No, not yet. Do so. Make it for as soon as possible. Okay, done. I've never worked with a foreign bank before. There could be some very exciting opportunities here. <laughs> Don't tell me. He was difficult, wasn't he? Let's just say that I made myself perfectly clear to him on this matter. What if he remains unable to help us? Oh, he's able to help us. The question is, does he want to help us? We can't really afford to waste too much time with him. Well, Barclay and TSB know us by reputation. And they're both interested. And what have you found out about the foreign banks? Have you scheduled an appointment with them? I've never worked with a foreign bank before. There could be some very exciting opportunities here. Unit 16, Unplanned Departure. Okay, okay, thanks. Goodbye. Making plans for this weekend? Actually, yes. I have to go out of town for a funeral. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences on the departure of your loved one. She's a distant relative. I've only met her once or twice. She's my cousin's grandmother. Do you mind if I ask how she died? Old age. She was 97 years old. She was making cookies in the kitchen and she just kneeled over and died. 97 years old. How about that? <laughs> she was living history. What a way to go. 97 and still had the energy to cook. I should be so lucky. Yeah, she remained active for her whole life. She didn't look a day over 75. How many days will you be gone? I'll only be gone for three days, but there's so much work to be done here. Don't worry about it. We'll cover for you till you return. It's only three days, Dave, and we just keep on keeping on until you get back. And if there's any emergency, we'll call you. Don't you even think about not going. You should pay your respects to your relative. Yeah. And I'm sure the whole family will be there too. Yeah, that's true. There's nothing like a funeral or a marriage to bring people together. Making plans for this weekend? Actually, yes. I have to go out of town for a funeral. My condolences on the departure of your loved one. Do you mind if I ask how she died? 97 years old. How about that? <laughs> she was living history. How many days will you be gone? I'll only be gone for three days, but there's so much work to be done here. Don't you even think about not going. You should pay your respects to your relative. 
Yeah, that's true. There's nothing like a funeral or a marriage to bring people together.